Ako po si Eugene Labares, 29 years old, ang inyong visual artist from the City of Smiles, Bacolod City. I discovered my talent when I was still a kid. Maybe around 7 or 5 years old yata ako noon. And I'm always the representative of my class for poster making contests during my elementary years. And even until high school and college, I'm still joining art-related events gaya na on-the-spot poster making contest at t-shirt painting competition. Pati nga acting at singing, pinasok ko na rin para makakuha ng scholarship sa college. But my father was very hesitant for me to take an art course. I remember my dad once said, If you'll be an artist, your work will only be recognized when you're dead already. I agree. Being an artist is a bit risky, but I didn't stop from there. My dad is a driver and my mom was a housekeeper. Their life was tough and I know it was never easy kaya nga siguro I'm the only child in the family. But they raised me well and I lived a life full of love and respect. Pati nga sexual orientation ko tanggap nila. I graduated from a maritime school bilang isang steward. Pero dahil nga only child, my mother don't want me to go overseas kaya sinubukan kong magtrabaho sa isang fast food dito lang sa Bacolod City. After few months, nakipagsapalaran ako sa BPO at naging isang call center agent for 7 years. Tapos biglang nagkasakit si mama, cervical cancer. So, she didn't survive. I lost my mom 4 years ago and it was the biggest change of my life. My dad found a new family and I was left on my own. I learned so much things about life and it made me stronger and braver. Dumating ang pandemic at sinubok ako ng tadhana at nang huminto ako sa trabaho, I have to live on my own. I met someone who changed my life and the way I see life. I went back to my first love and it was art. October 2020, sumali ako sa isang art group at sinubukan ko ang Inktober Challenge. But of course, I failed. December 2020, the art group invited me to join a mural painting. And it was my very first mural painting na ginawa namin sa Bacolod City Police Office. Our leader and my mentor as well, Joan Honorides, also known as the Joan of Art, saw potential in me and she opened so many opportunities for me to share my talent and skills. I started joining more mural activities. I worked as a volunteer art And though I didn't get the chance to study an art course for college, I am still so proud to be a self-taught artist. And my main medium was acrylic. From pastel in my posters, I started to fall in love with the paint on the walls and in my canvas. I am more comfortable with acrylic paint and honestly, I never tried all painting yet. I don't know but it's a challenge for me and I'm still afraid to use and explore other mediums at the same time. I also like to use colored pencil especially for my caricatures and recently, I am trying to practice and learn more about watercolor. My mentor once said to never limit myself to canvas and art is a continuous learning so never stop practice. I also learned doing crochet and making mandalas including macrame and I tried air dry clay, polymer and resin for a few times too. In just about eight months, I see the true meaning of passion and happiness. I won my very first trophy for being the champion of visual artists for Sining Bayanihan Arts and Culture in my province and became the representative in regional level for Karagatang Halan 2021. Looking back, I really hope one day my dad and the rest of my family would understand why I chose to be an artist. Life is too short indeed, and for me, it's not how much money I make in each art piece. It's how I leave a mark to the life of my client 
and how I make them remember me. That once, there was an artist named Eugene Lavares who wants to share and paint colors to their walls, to their home, and to the rest of the world.